Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to KubeCon. Uh, I am very happy to have this opportunity to talk here. Today, my topic is map chaos, uh, cloud chaos engineering either depth deep into chaos mesh. Before my sharing, uh, I will uh, introduce myself. My name is Steven. Uh, you also can call me Chen Wen, it's okay. I am a maintainer and the founder of the Kelsmed project. And at present, I am working at PinCap and also uh, my Kels engineering and the Kelsmed journey also started and this company. Uh, maybe some people are not familiar with this company. PinCap is an open source infrastructure company that has open source many well nodes and great tools such as TADB, a distributed database and also include CNCF graduate projects TAKV and also include KelsMatch and so on. And present, I'm working on this PINCAP and this company as a tech leader of the Kels engineering team and also practice Kels engineering on uh, TADB and the TADB cloud to improve their stability and so on. Um, and next, uh, as uh, most of people know, and this IT service, uh, service has become more and more complex because they maybe use the different uh, distributed systems and they maybe use the uh, cloud native architecture and so on. Um, cloud native architectures uh, improve the sca 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 uh, scalability, uh, scalable, scalables and the flexibility of the uh, applications, um, but they also involve many challenges, such as uh, and they maybe have a more unstable network requires, and they can be maybe have a more disk failures, and uh, they have more um, power power failures, and so on, and all kind of the failures. Um, Failures can fall force can happen anytime, anywhere, and in anywhere. So um, many faults can't be avoided. We can't avoid many faults, such as the, the unstable network and the disk failures and so on. So um, and just the writing test and the debugging for this issue is very hard. Um, when we developed uh, distributed database TADB, we also have the same issues and we want to find a solution to improve the distributed database stability. So um, finally, we find uh, Chaos Engineering. <clears throat> and here is our official, uh, official definitions of the Chaos Engineering. It says, Chaos Engineering is about breaking things in control in controlling the environment and through the well-planned experiments in order to build conditions in your application to withstand top land conditions. Um, by this definition, the keyword is experiments. This requires users um, when they do chaos experiments, they can work hard to figure out the cause of the uh, problems and uh, to find the potential of the problems that uh, instruct them uh, rather than uh, just uh, conducting a simple test a simple test the other keyword is a uh, con control controller and the well plan um, because chaos engineering is not about uh, breaking things randomly without a purpose um, because we use chaos match to uh, to find the potential uh, problems uh, rather than to use it to affect the normal usage of the systems, uh, normal usage of the applications and so on. Uh, and the beginning of the, my journeys of the Kelsey and Yari, I also met some problems uh, <clears throat> because in our uh, testing environments, we have many different clusters, we have many different versions Mm, was an person database we we all need to test them and uh, uh, and, uh, and and I find that it's very difficult for uh, for me to measure and uh, schedule so many KLC experiments and it's 
and, and also we find it's also difficult to inject some low levels in, uh, failures on this on database because um, some many tools such as TC and tables, fields, and so on, these tools come, couldn't be used in Kubernetes uh, environment directly. So uh, we need a tools that can provide some low levels for injection, such as the file systems and uh, uh, kernel levels and so on. Um, and, uh, and then times about three years ago, I, I researched uh, many open source tools, but no one was able to achieve this goal. And um, so um, finally, we, we decided to develop, uh, uh, develop these tools by ourselves. And also we name it is Kelsmatch. Uh, what, Kels, what is Kelsmatch? Um, the answer is actually changes all the time. Uh, it is related to, related to the evolution of the Kelsmatch. And the beginning of the Unkelsmatch journey, uh, our Unkelsmatch goal was simple. We just want to have a full injection and the measurement tools that can run well in Kubernetes environment. And these tools um, can provide the low level for injections. And, and for us, we just use this to, uh, to test TADB. After we did, did this for a while, we realized that these tools can be a uh, general tools. So, uh, so we 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 find we open source it and name it Kelsmatch. After we open source, um, after we open source Kelsmatch, um, it immediately attracts the attention of the community, and we receive many feedbacks and also receive many requirements. And with the help and the push of the community, Kelsmatch uh, gradually evolves evolves into uh, powerful chaos engineering platforms, including uh, uh, use of use web UI. And also you can use this to de design the chaos scenarios. You can use this to define your application data check-ins. And also we have a more uh, various times of the four injections and so on. And during these journeys, Chaosmatch also injects uh, join the CNCF and uh, uh, and, uh, and then this year, we also accept as uh, in incubation projects of the CNCF. And the projects evolves, uh, and the project evolves, Kelsmatch also, and the goal of the Kelsmatch is, uh, is uh, clear, and, and it's uh, our make Kels and Yara easier is, uh, is our goal. And also this goal also uh, on guide uh, direct the future evolution of the Kels match and also for, uh, uh, direct the, uh, the Kels match version 1 and uh, direct the uh, Kels match version 2. And also, uh, uh, and present Kels match is also very young and we have uh, many steps to achieve this goal. <clears throat> uh, next. Oh, next, let's dig deep into Kels match. Uh, and here, and this is the Kelsmatch architecture. Um, you can use, you can see, you can use the Kelsmatch and the Kubernetes plugin because Kelsmatch all Kels times and workflow times objects is just uh, de design and uh, uh, and use the CRD to define these Kels times, and such as uh, port Kels, network Kels, uh, stress Kels, IO Kels workflow, and so on. And so, uh, and um, if you are familiar with the Kubernetes and you're familiar with the operator mode, you will be uh, you will be familiar with Kelsmatch. And then you, because Kelsmatch is a very, and the, the architecture is very easy and very simple. Uh, you can see that Kelsmatch uh, include four components. The first one is Kels dashboard. It's a web UI for user to manage and update Kels requirements. And the second is a Kels control manager. It's, it, it is the core components and uh, uh, it uses, it's used to schedule and uh, to manage the Kels requirements. And also this component also include a workflow engines, a net, native workflow engines. 
And the chaos daemon, chaos daemon is uh, uh, executing executes components uh, and will be, it will be drawing in a daemon set and will be deployed in every uh, Kubernetes nodes. And this is chaos D. Chaos D is uh, sent to the chaos daemon, it's also executes components. Um, but uh, and these components will be deployed on not many nodes. And also you can inject, reject and this uh, components uh, to the chaos match, and then you will you can use this to uh, by this way you can you can define the uh, you can inject the failures on not community target and uh, community targets on a unified dashboard. <clears throat> uh, and this <coughs> sorry. <coughs> And this picture uh, is the uh, this picture shows a uh, shows a whole workflow of the chaos match, and the uh, you can see then this workflow can be uh, depended in three parts, and here is the first part, and the, here is the second part, and here is the third part. In the first part, uh, it's uh, about the users user parts. Uh, users can use a Kuba command, uh, Kuba apply this command, or use a chaos dashboard to uh, input your, to apply your chaos experiments or workflows or your or, or, or chaos workflows and, uh, and always okay. And if you define your chaos experiment in YAM files, you can use the Google Apply. And if you want to use the web UI, you can use chaos dashboard. You just uh, input uh, uh, fixing uh, forms and then and then they will be submit this chaos experiment to the Kubernetes API server. And then chaos control manager will be uh, receive the uh, watch the event from this uh, Kubernetes API server. And maybe we will receive the creates or update or delete the events. Uh, <clears throat> when chaos control manager should receive the event, there will be uh, parsers and uh, schedule the chaos experiments and then we will set the injection requirement to the chaos daemon. Uh, I, I have introduced this, uh, uh, chaos daemon is the uh, executed component and, that, and it will be run in uh, daemon set and will be deployed in each Kubernetes node. And uh, then this component's chaos daemon will receive the requirement from the chaos control manager and then there will be uh, enter, to the, enter the target port, uh, some uh, uh, network namespace or enter the PID namespace. And if your chaos experiments is a network chaos, uh, AP chaos daemon will into the network, uh, the target port network uh, namespace and uh, to communicate with the, your network interface, such as to set the uh, TC rulers, set the IP table rulers and so on. If your uh, chaos experiments is a stress chaos, uh, chaos daemon will be into uh, your target port PID namespace, and then we will be stress, uh, we will start a uh, stress ng uh, programs to burn your CPU, to burn your memories, and so on. Next, <coughs> chaos match uh, defined uh, multiple CRD times based on uh, different four times. I, I also introduced this in the previous slides, such as this is a portable port chaos and the network chaos and uh, so on, stress chaos overflow, physical, physical machine chaos, and so on. And here is a simple, uh, is an example of the um, port chaos. It's very, uh, this, this divided is in YAM files. And uh, and it, it is a very simple. This chaos experiment simulates the uh, randomness uh, random TIQ report will be killed. And here, a uh, level selector will select all TIQ reports with the, with these levels with this level. And the mode this represents the chaos experiment will be will select one randomly from the all port then meet the def meet, meet the selectors. Uh, and here, if th this is the best chaos object, if you want to define some schedule rulers uh, for chaos experiments, you can use a uh, you can use a schedule object to define it. And um, its rules and uh, um, 
the this schedule of days is like the uh, the rules the schedule rules it like the uh, cron job in Kubernetes and this this schedules define the uh, port chaos experiments with cron rules and this object will create a new port chaos uh, update every five minutes and when you apply this chaos experiments we can check the readout on chaos dashboard and also you can you can uh, you can check the results on your application monitors and like this in this the uh, the monitoring of the uh, applications like this you can find this when we'll apply this schedule objects you will find the qps will be uh, dropped to will be dropped and then instantly return to normal and uh, will be this and the, this behavior will be happens every five minutes <clears throat> next um chaos match also in include a negative workflow engine. This is decided for chaos match and also used to design the chaos scenarios to measure a group of the chaos experiments and the status checks of the application. Here is also an example of the uh, workflow object, which match this this metal list contains three parts, uh, workflow names, the entries, the entry is the Entries is uh, uh, is the entries of the whole workflow and also include a templates uh, a set of the templates and the present chaos match support five types of templates in serials parallels and chaos suspects and the task in this this five types of the templates and serials and the parallels templates define the rules to run the real times real, real task. And the chaos templates, uh, chaos templates is used to define a specific chaos action. This will be translate, translated to uh, different chaos times, such as um, uh, such as um, such as port chaos and network chaos, and so on. Um, task templates uh, is used to define some custom tasks, such as we can use this to define the status check task. Um, and so on. And here is a very simple, uh, very simple examples. And uh, um, chaos match, um, and the workflow is uh, very simple and uh, it is used for user to define your chaos workflow. And uh, you also can define your workflow on chaos dashboard. So you can define your workflows in your YAM files. You also can uh, define your workflow on chaos dashboard dashboard by the, the forms and so on. <clears throat> and chaos match also defined a multiple selector for users to define the scope of the chaos experiments, uh, including a namespace selector, level selector, annotation selector, node selector, and so on. Here is a selector example. This selector represents uh, the scope of the chaos experiments is the 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 pods with the, this label, and also, uh, and you also can see these labels on chaos dashboard. And here you can see the namespace labels selectors, and uh, labels selectors, and uh, notation level selectors, and so on. Next, uh, security is another key key point of the chaos match uh, for chaos match. We implement uh, also authorization mechanisms based on Kubernetes RBAC. Uh, users can create a specific uh, service account with the limited uh, author authorizations, uh, such as you can create uh, the main rules, uh, you can create a viewer, viewer rules, and you can use and then use the uh, tokens. Then this token uh, was gen generated by the service account, and then you, you you can use the token to log in chaos dashboard, and then you will use these users. This user will be have the limited uh, authorizations, and by this way, you can protect some important namespace, and uh, you can use this to limit the scope of the chaos experiments. Okay, next is a demo time. Um, for most user, can try chaos match uh, easily and quickly. Chaos match uh, pro website provide a uh, in interactive interactive tutorials and these tutorials is contributed by uh, chaos match communities members Jonathan 
and also it's built on catacodas. And this time I will, I will use the uh, in, interactive tutorial to show this demo. Um, okay, let's, uh, start, uh, let's uh, start this demo. Mm. First, you can, we need to open uh, our CalSmash website. Yeah, you can see then is uh, you can find the uh, interactive tutorials on our on Kelsmitch website. You can click mm -hmm. here to start this uh, tutorials. Yeah, you can see then uh, this tutorial will introduce will introduce some information about Kelsmitch, and uh, you can next you can click here to start this demo. Yeah, maybe they may need some time to prepare some environment. Um, and in this demo, uh, a test Kubernetes cluster will be created um, by Catacoda. And uh, yeah, you can wait a moment. And here is the, the step of the, these two, uh, the tutorials. We have uh, six, six steps. You can follow these tutorials to start your first case experiments. Um, yeah, and here is a share command you can click. And here you, this command will show the uh, Kubernetes cluster inf information. And here you can see the cluster, inf uh, the Kubernetes cluster versions. And also, and here you can, clean this command to check the HAM version because we need to use a HAM to install chaos match on this, on this Kubernetes cluster. Yeah, you can see then the HAM is, uh, HAM version is uh, version three. And next, continue. And the first, uh, uh, when, the, when the cluster, uh, Kubernetes cluster is prepared, uh, uh, I will need to install Chaos Match. And here we use the uh, HAM to install Chaos Match. And also we recommend user to use the HAM to install Chaos Match. Uh, first one, we add the repo and then we, we set the version. And here we use the latest uh, versions on version 2.1.5. And then we clean here to install Chaos Match. Yeah, wait a moment. This command will be installed Chaos Match on Kubernetes cluster. Maybe they need some time because we will pull the image, Docker image from, uh, from the hub. And we use command to change the uh, status of the uh, Chaos Match. Yeah, you can see that. Mm. Maybe we need some time to make sure all uh, Kios match components is running. And you can see then we include uh, Kios controller managers and the Kios demon and the Kios dash, uh, dashboard. At a moment. Yeah, you can see then uh, all component is running. And before you, uh, you, you continue the next step, you need to make sure all components, uh, all pod is running. At the moment, yeah, and you and here you also when when you have installed Chaos Match, you can clean this or you clean clean this link is always same link to open to to access Chaos Match dashboard. You can see. What a moment. <clears throat> Oh, wait a moment. Maybe you need some time to, to access network. Oh, let me re refresh it. Um, open this here. Maybe some wrong with my network. Wait a moment, I refresh it. 
Um, let's uh, check the status of the. Uh, yeah, all port um, is running. And here, and yeah, you can see the Kelsmith dashboard is open and we can access this by this link. And here, uh, the first, we will have uh, overviews of the Kels match. We include, you have, you, you have how many experiments, how many schedule workflow is running. And here is a workflow. You can click here to start, to create a new workflow. And here you can click here to start your, uh, to create a new schedule object. And here you can create a single Kels experiments and all is okay. Uh, for 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 same time and here we we use the uh we use the yum file to define the uh, chaos experiments uh, to start this demo <laughs> and here and you also can read this document to 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 learn how to use chaos match and uh, uh, chaos match include uh, uh what times uh, chaos times and so on and I continue just continue. Um, for the, in this demo, for this for in, for in this demo, we we also need a a, a target application, and uh, and for this demo, I will install a uh, application we call it Web Show, and this web application uh, is a web UI, a web UI have a web UI. You can see the network delay from this port to the uh, Google system port, and uh, this network delay will be recorded on this application. Uh, and first, and 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 this this command, with this this command to install uh, this application. <clears throat> yeah, and it, it, it apply the web show deployment. This application is running in deployment, and here is the uh, to get to install the service for we can access the this application. And here, use this command to check the application status. We uh, and we need we make sure, need to make sure the application is running, and then to 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 continue the next steps. Yeah, maybe it needs some time, and because we uh, uh, because this command need to post the uh, image from this uh, from from the doc hub. Maybe the dock hub, the image is very large and needs some time to pull. At a moment, and here, uh, well, sorry. At a moment. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Uh, the web show application is running, yeah. And also you can see, you can see this, and also this you can click here to open source to access the web uh, uh, in this application. You can see open this, yeah. At a moment, yeah, you can see that this application will record the network link between the the application port to the from the application port to the uh, Google system port. You can see that the latency is uh, about uh, one millisecond. And then next, I will uh, start a uh, network calls to inject the 10 millisecond. And here, yeah, you can see this. You can click here to, 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 to check the, uh, uh, the, the, the network calls definitions. You can see then uh, this. And this network health, this this jump file define a uh, network health, and the uh, action is delay is uh, selector is a uh, web show, and the, the latency is ten millisecond, and this uh, represent we will inject ten millisecond on our target application, and also you can use this selector to make sure this uh, uh selector will be select our the, the target port. We can make sure this. Can I use this? Yeah, you can see that this selector will be select uh, uh, web show port. Uh, and uh, we and here for 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 the for same time we can we just use the Google Apply 
to apply this uh, to apply this jump fire to Kubernetes clusters, and uh, they and then they will be injects the uh, network delay on our target application. Yeah, you can see then Kubernetes. You can see then this network chaos will be created, and and then you you can use this command to check this. Yeah, you can this 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 uh, network chaos has been cre created on Kubernetes cluster. And also, you can check the results on the on web UI, uh, on the web show UI. You can see this. Yeah, you can see the network delay turned to the 10 millisecond, and uh, and this represents the chaos experiment is work. It's working. Yeah. Uh, and also on um, chaos match, uh, you also can add uh, annotations on your uh, application uh, on your chaos experiments object to stop your uh, chaos injection and uh, uh, to pause this. And here you can clean this. This command will be add annotations. If the annotation is uh, web show network chaos delay, it will be an end of this uh, annotation on this. Uh, a network object, and uh, the the annotation is this: experiments chaos match, then top on org, and and here is annotation, and you you can check the result. You can see, you can see that the normal uh, the the uh, uh, network delay has uh, is turned to normal, and also you can check the. Uh, <coughs> Results and uh, check the chaos experiments and uh, to update the chaos experiments on chaos dashboard. It's okay. You can see then the this and um, this chaos experiments is paused. And also you can click here to to get the detailed information. And here we will be show the events uh, about uh, this chaos experiments on chaos dashboard. And here is definition. Here is the basic basic information, and also you can start this and restart it, and also you can achieve it, and 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 it all is okay. And if you want to restart this, you also can use that to remove the annotations. You can use this command. This command will be remove the annotation from the um, chaos object. You can check the result. Yeah, you can see then uh, the network chaos uh, will be restarted and has been restarted by uh, by 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 the command. Um, and also, you can just use a kube delete and uh, to delete this uh, uh, network chaos. Yeah, you can see check the results on the web show application. Yeah, you you can see then the. Uh, network delay turn to normal, and also you can check the result uh, on. Uh, you can check the chaos experiments on chaos dashboard. Oh, it's okay. You can see that the the network chaos has been delayed. Uh, when you when you delete the uh, the experiments, you delete the schedule or workflows and that will be achieved uh, uh, here. Okay, and also next is also have other demos about the schedule object and also about the podcast uh, demos and so on. If you are interested about chaos match, you can try this and uh, it's very easy and very simple. You just open chaos match website and follow the interactive tutorials and you, you can try chaos match and also you can start your first uh, Chaos and Nearest, uh, uh, first chaos experiments, and very cool. It's very cool. Okay, next, let's turn to uh, our slides. Wait a moment. Okay, next is about the uh, uh, future plans. Uh, in the future, we will continue to focus on ease of use and uh, of the uh, of, of the ability, uh, such as we plan to provide a more uh, comprehensive data inspection mechanisms, and uh, we will uh, provide a 
uh, a more simple and a more powerful report. And also we improve the availability by, by the event logs and matrix and so on. Uh, about security, we also plan to develop a new component to force recover chaos experiments, with, which are used to prevent the chaos experiments being out of control. Uh, and also, we also plan to provide a plugin uh, to expand the complex chaos times. So users can use this plugin to develop their own chaos times, such as the RabbitMQ chaos, Redis chaos, and so on. We also will build a chaos hub for users to share their own chaos times and to share their workflow, which can be reduced the cost of the new users on chaos impairments. Uh, next is about some chaos match communities and some, uh, maybe some research you can find on, on our communities. And I think chaos match website is a good place for users to start your chaos uh, to start your chaos engineering. And you can find the document on our chaos match website and they guide the user to how to install chaos match and how to quickly start their own chaos experiments. We also have in, in interactive tutorials for users to create your uh, experiments Kubernetes cluster online and install chaos match to quickly, quickly experience chaos match. And I, I also show how to use this uh, tutorials uh, on, on my demo. Uh, in addition, you also can find some use, it, use, case, use, use case on Kelsmith blog. Uh, and also, uh, and here is also uh, our Kelsmith uh, YouTube channel. You can find some, um, <coughs> you, this also good research. We have a monthly community meetings. Uh, and they, they are, uh, they are, we, will, we will be uploads the videos on this channel. You can, uh, you can find the, uh, the meetings record and uh, you can find this. Uh, and also, uh, you also can join the Chaos Match, uh, join the CNCF Chaos Match channel. And the whole community is, is very active here. You can find, uh, find me and also you can find many community members in this channel. And if you have any questions, you can discuss with us on this channel and all community members is, are very happy to discuss and share their um, Kelsmed journey with you. We also, uh, and here is our GitHub, GitHub repo, and we also welcome you to create an issue on the Kelsmed GitHub repo. Or if you, uh, if you are, uh, if you want to, uh, if you have some feature requests, you also can create an issue on this GitHub repo. And also you can just uh, submit a, peer, a pull request to help us to improve this project. Um, Kelsmith is uh, still very, uh, still young. Uh, everyone is uh, welcome to participate in evolution of the Kelsmith. And I welcome, I welcome all people to join our communities. Okay. Thanks, uh, and uh, uh, it, it's all uh, my sharing. Thanks very much. Uh, and also thanks for your time.